Hello everybody, it's Frost here and welcome back to the den and as you can see before me I'm going to be cleaning up another old locomotive. Just a quick background history that this locomotive I found in the garbage along with a bunch of other old stock and a pieces of track that were on a 4x4 board. I dropped my jaw so hard that I just jumped off my bicycle, left it there, put everything on the board, walked it back to my old man's place and came back for my bicycle. Surprisingly enough, this one still fully runs. All the railing on it is missing. There is some damage to the front. Uh, I forget what that's called. And the back. And there's something up here that's missing. I don't know what. I will have to go and look because I just don't know the um, type of locomotive this is. Even one of the air horns is broken. But yeah, that'll be another day. Today I just want to get this cleaning and running better. Also on the bottom, I'll get it up closer here, is a Lionel locomotive manufactured at Fun Dimensions, 1976 from Hong Kong. Now this locomotive still runs. I've had it out recently. At least um, upgrading the KD couplings on this one will be a cinch. Just a couple of screws. Now the front tire, or front tires, the front wheels on this one are powered. Oh, it's even got a traction tire slot. So another traction tire wheel I'll have to fill in somehow. But you can see the back are quite grimy. So I may have to clean these ones or scrub them by hand. And I don't even have any alcohol cleaner yet. <sighs> oh, well, let's get the major stuff done for now. Oh, yes, and also there'll be parts of this video where I'll be quiet as I'll be showing off the... Hobby Lube from Woodland Scenics and the Tidy Track system. I was I was asked to give a product review from Model Train stuff, and I figured okay, it's done that, and it's asking, can you link a video or upload a video or photo? Well, I might as well do a video, but I can't link the ones I have on YouTube apparently. <sighs> oh well, a bit of damage there. I think that's damage. Oh wait. That's a plastic nub for something. Huh. Lovely, another mystery. And once more, I do apologize. I just don't know the classification name for my diesel engines. I know this is probably like a, going by the front cab. It's a GP something. Alright. Now the fun part, get the shell off. I don't know if it's snapped in there or screwed in, so... I'm just going to take this screw out. I think this little driver bit should do it. If not, I'll grab my other set. Okay, this probably is a pop-off shell, because that looks like it's all one piece. Question is, where does it clip to? Unless these front coupling screws count for holding it in. Find out here in a second.
Doesn't look like it's long enough. And I apologize for the lighting. I'm trying to see what I'm doing in my shadows kind of cascading over it. Doesn't help that it's also another cloudy, rainy day. It's just drizzling outside. Okay, so those aren't affecting it. So we'll just gently pry. One side. Oh, I see now. The clips are right there. The snap points. I don't want to break that detail there, though. Almost. There we go. Easy does it. Now this one's got the light right in the middle of the lead weight. Okay, so that lead weight's screwed in there. Okay, we'll put that screw back in, I guess. Huh. So I'm also going to be painting the inside of this black because these vents are see-through. That's a nice feature. And also this one here gets brighter in the middle like it lights up the whole inside. So if I put some black paint in, that'll hopefully help it out. We'll do that after. So the back wheels are pickups. And they have more radius turn than the front engine. Oh, there's a whole pin in here. So drop pin holds that was set inside. So we have little brass contact tabs. Yep. Okay. Put this back together for now. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! There we go. So what I want to do though is take this whole motor apart. Problem is I don't know how to take the motor out of the unit. Get it back in camera here, shift this over a little bit. So how do I go about popping that motor out? Well, that fell out again. That's no good. So 
So I've got this piece of plastic here. I don't know if it's molded in or screwed in. I'm going to take this apart and find out. A little wee flat one. It also holds the two halves together. Oh, screw that back in. Contacts all look good. Exchange services have stopped working. I wonder what that means. Okay, so your left side. And there's a little spring. Don't want to lose that. Put that over there. This one's a bit sticky. There we go. That went flying. So with screw, got a plate, got a spring. You know, these springs different from each other. They're about the same length. They look still look good. Okay, so now we got the motor out of the way. So well, that's that side. That'll be that side. Now to figure out how to pop this darn thing out. Okay, you and back trucks are going to become a problem, aren't you? You get back in there, stay in like so. Okay, so we do have to take that little black piece out. That is separate. Excellent. Now, this is my first time taking an engine apart, so I'm being very careful. By engine, I mean the actual motor part. And that should just slide out, maybe. Somehow, I <laughs> guess we'll have to use a bit of elbow grease.
There we go. Well, I say that now, but almost. And there go the back bogeys again. Oh no. One of the uh, wires went. Lovely. So these do not pick any power up. The back set does. Okay, I'm going to put that screw back in this before something else breaks. Take it all apart anyway, it's looking gummy in there. All right, so for now, I'm gonna start with the motor. And it looks like these just pop off like so. Try the back one. There we are. Yeah, they're looking kind of dry inside. All right, so I'm going to just pause here, and then it's going to continue, and it's going to sound like a bit of a product demonstration. Actually, I should probably take this all apart first carefully. If they'll pop out. Probably keep this right side up so we know that's the back, so the traction tire was. I'll do my best to keep it all in order, folks. So, like so. Oh, there's a little magnet in there. Okay, that's from that side. I will have to watch that. The other one doesn't fall out. That's in the rather tight. I'm my good, the good set. Even sharper point. I think this one will do. It's too fat. Oop. Bump the camera. That was just really tightened in there. strip it.
Oh, these are pressed in there tight. I'll have to make sure I tighten that up at the same time. Okay, we'll just put you guys away. Now then the fun part. Just carefully taking, I guess they call this the pancake motor. Part. It's a three pole motor. So you sit there. And these two just sit like so. It's funny how this one's kind of black and this one's shiny. You feel the magnet. Seems to be evenly wound. I'll gently pull this out. Doesn't look too, too bad. Could use a nice cleaning though. I'll give it a good wipe down. Yeah, those um, got a bit of gunk on them there too. Another little magnet in there. So just oh, never mind. You fall out then. Ah, now the fun part: dry cleaning these with a Q-tip because I don't have any rubbing alcohol or cleaning spirits for this stuff. One sides are nice and shiny. The other sides are kind of black. Witchamadingers. Tweezers. That's what I was looking for. Oh, that was too pointy. Darn. Okay, whatever. We'll just do it by the fingertip. Black just come off my fingers. If anything, that one's cleaner now. This one, just tips, cutting swabs. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Something on that one. So regrettably, I won't be able to show this train being cleaned on this um, track cleaner because I gotta solder that and I don't have a solder tool thing. And I'm just gonna go 
like so. Wow. Yeah, look at that dirt. That grime. Some more on that side. Little coil on that. Okay, I'm just gonna do up the poles here. And then get a fresh one. Where the garbage bin go? I don't think I'm bagging it yet. Look at that. Isn't that just dirty? I want to give these guys just a quick more rough buff. There. Hopefully that will make things work a lot better now. All right. It's time to reassemble this bad boy. So, this went this way. You know what? I'll put a Deba grease or something in those bearings. So, at least they can show off the lube part.
Okay, now that fun disaster is over. <laughs> um, it's time to move on and put the rest of the motor back together. And I believe that is these guys here. So, uh, yeah, let's just pop this back in. There we go. First off. Leave this went this way. Oh, if I can get it in there. All right. This, this little wee screw. Hopefully my shadow is not blocking out most of the action here again. It's tight enough. Okay, now put these little guys back in. They're about the same size, as far as I can see with the naked eye. I forget what these are called. Ask my tweezers here. Very fine tip tweezers. There's one. So where a little workbench or a headset magnifying glass specs come in. Well, that one just dropped right in. Perfect. I'm going to take the, put the springs back in the order I took them out of. Probably something I should do, though, is maybe clean down the ends of these a little bit. Look really clean though. So once more. Oh, these are going to be a nuisance, aren't they? There's one. There's two. Oh. Perfect. Now to get these down on there properly and not cause any damp. Oh no! It's 
Just please stay in there. Now I never did wipe down the underside of these metal plates, but they don't look that bad. Yeah, there's nothing coming off of them. Okay, don't turn that one anymore in case I break it. Now this one. I'm going to pre-set up on the wires. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Ah! Oh. So close. Why did I move my finger away too soon? Okay, you get back in your hole. Freddie announced from will not be broken. Okay, we'll just leave that there. In case that threading gets stripped. Threading is a little stripped or something. As for you, well, that's it for this part of the video. I'm going to grab another locomotive to put on there to clean.